Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Man, hey, man, this guy done let us come in here like this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This dude here done blessed us, man. Yeah, man. We, hey, man, we, we in Los Angeles, California, man. Mm-hmm. Downtown, nigga. Stop playing, man. On Los Angeles Street. On Los exactly. Angeles. Exactly. Some dude told us we were on 12th Street. What'd he say? 1200 block. So yeah, nice. yeah. Some one of my partners, he from out here. I'm like, well, I'm over here, nigga. I'm downtown, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my guy sick, man. Yeah. He in the building, baby. What's going on? Oh man, a whole lot of hustling, man, staying on top of everything. You know, life is good. Blessed each and every day. You know, we pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wanna know, so I wanna know where did the name sick or club sick come from? Uh, so yeah, first it was a little sick, and that was just kind of like in my younger days, I was wild and out of control, and I apologize to everybody <laughs> for everything that I done. I am older now, I'm a lot wiser. Little sick was a character, man. Who gave you that name? Uh, my older cousin Sergio Cooper. He was like my role model when I was real young. He was thugging real hard, and uh, and for him to even call you that. Yeah, yeah. He was he, he was sick. I was little sick. You know what I mean? So wow. It's from Ohio, Ak- so, Akron, Ohio, man. What's the biggest thing you've done? Why you think you earned that name? Underneath that name, mm. uh, the biggest thing. Mm. Why you even I think I created. It? I think I, I think I, I paved the way and created a lane for artists um, out of my area. Mm-hmm. As as the name of Lil Sick, like I got a a lot of um, attention and movement in my area by myself. You know, for things that I created and things that I was doing in the street that really brought awareness to the city and in specific artists and you know, kind of a movement and bringing a sound to the city of Austin, Texas, because the next generation was the first, you know, million dollar deal to come out of there, you know, and it was all little guys, you know what I mean? Yeah, so mm-hmm. so you originally from Dallas? Yeah, I was born in Dallas, but then it's like I was outside of Dallas growing up in the outskirts of Austin, Texas. Okay. So, yeah, in the country. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the country? The, the little we t- was in Lexington, Giddings, and Donbach, hey. Texas. Hey. Lee County, Texas. Wow. I am deep from down south. <laughs> dirty, dirty south. Wow. Yeah, and I got to let it be known. Like, it take 20 minutes to get to the store. There ain't no corner store. It down there you know what i'm saying so you know i'm from the deep down 20 minutes to get to the 20 corner. minutes yeah. to get to you the know store. how it goes stop they, playing they call it, it town don't take 20 minutes from your house no <laughs> i'm talking about in lodi stop Where playing I well, i'm talking about in smithlin I'm talking about being in. I'm talking about being in Smithland. I'm talking about being in the Smithville? country. Yeah, no, you, Smithland. Oh, I'm talking oh, about down oh, in the country. Oh, I'm about Louisiana. Oh, DJ Screw, man. I thought you said the real, man. Oh, man. Yeah. So you, you're, so how, how old were you when you moved up here? Um, it's been I, since you're older, or what? Yeah, yeah. Since I've been older. Um, so you grew up in the country. I grew up in the country. From see, like what happened was, I was born in Dallas. Uh-huh. So I was born in Dallas, and then by the time I was about. 10 years old, 11 years old. I was extremely bad. Your mom and dad was together at this time? Never together. Never together. Do you (laughs) know your dad? I knew my dad before he died. He did pass away. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry to hear. But you did build a relationship with him before was We was on time of getting it done right then. Oh. Yeah, we was right on time about to to do the damn thing. Dang. How old were you when you lost him? Uh, I think I was like 26 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 26. 26 years old, man, and 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 I, and I can relate. I was young when I lost my mom, so yeah. about a little bit, bit younger than that. But it it affects you when you when you don't get to build that relationship. We had a relationship, but right. just to lose somebody that's that close to you, it affects you some kind of way, you know. And I actually affect me extremely because it was like we was just now getting to to know build each other. a relationship. Yeah, right. it was about like that third conversation, about like that third conversation of really getting it mm-hmm. understood, and it was like, oh, it's over with. And I was like, oh yeah, here go another step in life. That's just wow. really rough. Yeah. So, you, do you think that that's the reason, one of the main reasons why you ended up to the streets because you didn't have your dad in your life at a younger age? I didn't have my mom in my life at a young oh. age. <laughs> like, so who who raised you? Grandma. Well, it was a lot of moving around and bouncing around, and my mom was there for a little while, but it was just like in the important times, she was not there at all whatsoever. 
So it was like it wasn't no, you know, it ain't nothing. You just got to keep on trucking. You know what I mean? It, Were you the only sibling? Yeah, well, it was my grandpa. My grandpa was there for a while. I stayed with my auntie for a little hot minute, and then so no yeah, brothers or sisters. I got one sister, older sister, but she got up out of there. She got she got up out of there, <laughs> and she got up out of there. She was yeah. She she went off. And with she the didn't rest. take you with with her. Nah, she, I, I was down there with them in the country, deep <laughs> down in the dirty south, because it was like from 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 Dallas to Lee County. Mm-hmm. To Austin, to back to Dallas, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it was a lot of bouncing around in between there, mm. growing up, growing trying to up. Get it. So I was never able to, to like Settle get a good, mm-hmm. get a good education because I'm over here doing this. Oh, got kicked out of there. Oh, you didn't call a charge in school over here. <laughs> like so, it was like it was no <laughs> chance of getting no real schooling. So I was like, you know what? This is about to be a rough one. And growing up, yeah. I had already knew it because I was like, man, this is the situation with my parents. This is the situation with my living. This is, you know what I mean? And it's just a bunch of mess. So it's like, you know what? When I get on, on these two, it's on. And then when you, I did it, I popped it off. You know what you, I mean? You like, that remind was your me, motivation. He reminded me of my uncle, see? Mm-hmm. He came up here and started making waves. See, when mm-hmm. my uncle did that, he came up here and opened up like seven fish restaurants. And yeah. But being from the country, being yeah. from Texas, yeah. he came up here and set it off. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to go get this money while everybody else talking about they complaining and moving to eat to Texas. Yeah. No, I'm going out there and I'm for the turn up with this money and I'm gonna show yeah. these boys how I get down with mine hey, <laughs> so so how did you figure it out like like because we we here in club sick right yes how did you figure it out man like like a lot of people that that come up from where you come from um, where they was mentally just draining and they just couldn't get it through together because of depression and all kind of stuff you how were you able to just like I'm gonna get this figured out um honestly I can really just say it was the steps that I went through it's like dealing with school and, and the, the way I was treated and, you know, the stuff I went through in school, it was like, okay, yeah, school ain't for, for me. And then it's just like, you know, I encourage, you know, people to, to do their schooling and do all of that. But for what I was going through in my life, ain't nobody got no time for no school. You got to mm-hmm. figure out the bills at 12 years old. You ain't got to but a couple, but you in a house by yourself, 12, 13 years old, and you better figure it out or you're out of there. Wow. Yeah, so it was like I got in good with the – with the uh, the uh, older cat down there, and you know, before you know it, I had me a little hustle, and then it was it was a time to where I could you know stay overnight with doing this hustle, you know, it, I started Made scraping, it scraped it up, <laughs> scraped it up, <laughs> scraped it up. You know what I'm saying? Every time by myself, by yourself, so, got yeah. it out the mud. Yeah, that's the real mud because it's like <laughs> you've been having to figure things out alone mm-hmm. for a very long time. time. Yeah. But being um, older now, looking back at your life, sometimes we can see avenues that we could have taken when we were that young. But when you're young, you're just not thinking you have like one track mind. So looking back, it, do you see where you could have, you know, escaped certain avenues that you Absolutely. took? Absolutely. And I know exactly what you're talking about. And what it is, is parenting. So if you, and, and that parenting gives you a certain direction. So... It's just like people that's going through stuff and you didn't have them parents for real like I didn't. I know exactly what you're going through because you're you're in certain aspects. You're way later than other people in other situations. And it's like if you don't have that coach or, or that mentor or somebody, then it's like you going off of what you know. And if mm-hmm. you don't know nothing, you constantly Young, bumping you know, your head. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. But yeah. how can you tell a child that may be going through what you went through right now? You come up on a child, you walk out his door and you. You know, you meet somebody and the things that they're telling you about their life, it's on like your life. Mm -hmm. How would you advise them to get out of that situation? Um, What gets me out of the situation is something simple as my imagination. Wow. I escaped it all because I focused on the things that I thought about. Everything around in the world, all the people, all the family, everything all messed up all the way full circle around me. When I learned to use my imagination and say like, hey, this building we sitting in was all white. There was nothing in there. What could I do in this situation to bring it completely to life to where it'll just draw attention and eventually bring money? Mm-hmm. And I eventually, in every single thing that's in here, I thought it up and sketched it out. But I did this with every studio, every stop, every show I threw, every flyer that was put up. Hypnotizing. Yeah, it was all put, you know, put together in my mind. Up to now where I'm making movies and I can sit here right now and we can think out a quick you know, outline of a movie and then I know how to then take that, break it down, 
take it to the script, man. Give him two bands. He gonna knock me out a full script. Take that to the production, man. And now me and him is making the film. And then I know where to get it sold at. You know what I'm saying? So you and always had that creative mind yeah. as a kid coming out. A to Z. I call it the A to Z plan. Everything you do, figure as much out about it as you possibly can. And then go 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 find the people who have completed the things that you've done, and sit there and learn first, and then make your move. Cause you don't gotta wait on nobody. Ice Cube walked into this building, and I was asking him, "How did you do this movie thing?" Uh, Cube Vision, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Look, man, you can do it. Get out there and do it. I I, w I would advise getting you know getting the proper learning, and and, and you know what I'm saying? Like kind of really putting your mind to the A to Z, everything and every aspect of it, and go get it, you know what I'm saying? But for, this, but, but for people to listen, because wow. I can tell something to my child, and they don't always listen, but somebody else that they look up to even more, just like you said, Ice Cube came in here, and I'm sure you looked up to him at that point, hearing it from him compared to hearing it from your partner telling you the same exact thing, you'd be more, you know, efficient, more wanting to hurry up and get up and do it when you hear it from him, is that true or not? I mean, I think that they ain't got nothing to do with it. It's about this. It's all in yourself. If you stopping yourself, especially like being indecisive, that's going to keep you from winning in a million different ways. That's why I told you Bone was one of the most influential people out of my whole time and story. Shut because up, Bone. Bone will tell you, sick, you can do it. You're the mayor of Austin. What are you talking about? You can do this. You can do that. You can <laughs> woo woo And I got to thinking, I am the motherfucking mayor around this motherfucking <laughs> And then before you know it, it was like I had the real confidence because it was like, you know, this is my partner. Like, we really like brothers. But it's like when you saying this stuff, I know you don't lie to me. You ain't going to tell no lie to me. We ain't, we don't do that. We on some real brother level situation. Yeah. So when you telling me stuff, I'm automatically believing it. And then it was like, you didn't been places I ain't been in the music game in certain games or whatever. So I respect it when it come out your mouth. And then it just got to the point to where it was like, yeah, I, I know I can do this. It ain't about thinking about it. It's like, do you want to do it? If you want to do it, then you already know how to do it because how you do everything else and go and bust the move. And see, man, like, that's, that's. Man, for you, you hey, shout out Bone. We got to shout out Bone. Bone put me right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bone like, real. Bone, I'm calling, hey, e, just hold on a minute. I got you. I'm going to call sick. I'm like, man, Bone, man, thank you, man. And then he tried to do it everywhere we go to Atlanta. Wherever I go, yeah. he trying to, like, yeah, go here. You go. And it's just love, man. So I can see how he could inspire you because his heart goes. Out when he speak, nah, shit, that it's for real. You know what I mean? Like he be for real, and it be cold. Him and my boy Kinky, like when they say stuff, it's like you know it. They for real, so you might as well get real with it. You know what I mean? Not take it with however you want to take it, but it's for real. Wow. You know I mean? So when you came here and you just you say you envisioned everything and then you set it up, man. I mean, so I mean, how how hard is it to to uh, for the upkeep, just doing business out here in L.A. If a dude is from the country or somewhere and he wanted to do something like this, I know you say he think he can do it, but just the process of educating yourself mm -hmm. on how to get a CO, how to get how to go and get the right paperwork. That's where our people are at. A lot of them don't know exactly. See, I have the pleasure of. Having Pat, my boy Pat, Patrick Daniels out of Dallas, he's one of my mentors, and it's like I had the, uh, I actually chose him to be this position in my life. You feel me? So when 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 he stepped into that position, it changed my life mm -hmm. from credit and being able to get cars and buying houses on your own, like step by step by step. I had a mentor, but I listened. Okay. And then when it, sometimes it come down to, hey, look, you need to do this and pay for this now, so this can go down. If you don't do that right then, that process stops. Mm -hmm. So understand, it's like I was always a person that. You know, it's time to pay this, it's time to do this. And then it's like, that's how I got everything that I got. It's just like, you don't worry about what's happening later. Worry about what the plan is and what you need to be doing right now. And don't slow down your process. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. So do you think that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, my, I, you think I can get a place next door or something? We got an open <laughs> spot. Easy. You know what I'm talking about? I, I can come to you and you can be like, yeah, yeah, this is what it's going to take. E. Yeah, yeah, we... Me and baby for the old, see, I call a baby, me and baby for the old club out here. Yeah, but see, what was the first thing that you did? You went and got the information from somebody that you knew that already that's did it. it. That's mm -hmm. it, that's it. And that's why I like, I like certain people that I deal with more than anybody because it's like, if I come to you and I'm telling you, I know you got this and I want this, will you give me the game for this? Yeah. And they give me the game. Now I got to give you everything. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you you on that level with me because there ain't no reason why I shouldn't want you next door. That's mm-hmm. it. That's you, you it. That's me? it. So I got all the game. If you want that, we can really make that happen. That's it's, crazy. It's an Asian realtor right down the street will get you fixed up just <laughs> See like that? that. That's and what I'm talking about. Even if you don't got your paperwork together, I can still get you. <laughs> <laughs> I can still get you in the yeah, door, man. man. So, so I want to talk about the music just a little bit, man. Yeah. I mean, you... you I, so when I when when me you know me when they when when Bone said I could come see Sick yeah. man you gotta go see my boy Sick I said I gotta look him up man so I shoot it to my brother I said hey man look this cat up man see who this is man because my boy got me going out of LA and you know yeah. I man I need to know what I'm walking into yeah. my boy look it up my my brother he mm-hmm. like man. This dude got some money or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he not, this guy not somebody just now. He not no scrub. This guy, he, he got some, you know, he looking at the videos. He yeah. looking at your build up and the way that, yeah. you, you know, because that matters, man. Yeah. The work ethic the work. works, man. Yeah. The, that matters. So it was like, dang. I said, okay, well, now I'm like, damn, well, I gotta see how I'm going to come at it, man. I got to make sure mine right. Yeah. So when I come, we can do the best show ever. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So thank you for inviting us in, man. And uh, so so the music, man, how did how, how did that start? I always did music the whole time I, I promoted artists and through concerts. Okay. So I threw about four or five hundred different events, concerts, after parties, you know, South by Southwest in the city of Austin, Texas, or all, you know, everywhere around it and shit too. So it's like, that was what I was doing first before I started really going hard in music, but the whole time I never stopped dropping music. So wow. I always had somewhat of a fan base when it came to throwing shows, putting out artists, and you know, rapping. You yeah, know yeah, saying? yeah. So you and Bone did one together. It, y- y'all, y'all, yeah. something else, man. Yeah. Y'all, it looked like a lot of fun. I showed it to him when mm-hmm. we was in the truck out there waiting on y'all. I said these boys having fun, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> so how did y'all come up with it? Uh, I mean, it's just like shit. Whenever we got everybody, you know, in one spot, it's just like I just came up with the idea. I was like, look, man, we got to get on this record, and then we had. Uh, PLA, my boy PLA, PLA yeah, yeah. and um, I was like, look, man, we're going to shoot this video over here. I got this set up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All you niggas got to do is go get dressed. Oh, how, how we getting dressed? Like, we, some, we, hey, we players. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to be hey, when it's all for all yeah, of the money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to come man, with it. Man, we players. Man, so and 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 so, how important is it? Like, like, man, it's one thing I want to say. Let me say this before I forget, man. Your boy Giuliani, he was like, man, he he referred to you like like you were the a, a young Russell Simmons. To be honest with you, he he let, like you making moves, man. Mm-hmm. How, how important is it to have the right group of people around you while you're doing the things that you're doing to create? Um, it, it's everything. But honestly, I can tell, like me, I'm one of them gridiron hustlers. I'm gonna keep it one thousand. I don't need nobody. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody want to come and, and like I said, they want to use the spot, they want to, they need something and, and we can help each other out. Like we can build. It's like, I'm never, you know, I'm not like the rest of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you got something to offer, you, you know, you, you just want to be a part of something. You know what I'm saying? We're going to check you out, check yeah. your application, you know, at least give you a shot. The see opportunity. What's going on. And then, yeah, there's some stiff boys around here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So these boys can hang. Yeah, you see what yeah. I'm saying? They from the out. Texas boy, yeah, man. That nigga, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> you baby. Gotta keep it 1,000 <laughs> because it's like, look, you sit over here with too much money too long, it's going to get took. Yeah. So you get these boys from around here, and then you hear it. Nigga, here go a little of this. You yeah. need this? Come on. Come on. Get some of that. And don't do that down here and see if they don't skin you <laughs> off the wagon. <laughs> They go skin off. you. Nah, so you you basically just saying, nah, hey man, you break me... bread. You break bread wherever you you lay your head, and you break bread wherever you make your bread. Man, you know what I'm saying like you just gotta break bread. Like, come on, man. Yeah, so, I got a lot going on. Break, I, yeah. I need I need more and more people. Yeah, you know yeah, you right. Yeah. You you got to do gotta it to think. build up, right? Yeah, because it's like I, I be looking at the movie sets. It be four, five hundred different people on the movie set. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm a movie maker now. Oh, you, <laughs> hey man. I, so I, I'm thinking, man, somewhere in down the line, you coming to Dallas? You gonna come in my spot? We gonna do some creating yeah, in absolutely. Texas? We gonna do a, something from a Texas to LA type movement? Maybe yeah. even recreate your story. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about, yeah, man. Absolutely, man. Good. Wouldn't you like to be a, at Money Moses? Them pulled up. What's up, Money Mo? Money Moses in the building. So you hear him talking that movie talk, man. We got this guy right here now. We finna be in a movie, nigga. I've been trying to get in moved since I was born. (laughs) Look at me, man. I I deserve to be in a movie. (laughs) You feel me? It's so crazy right now. I've accepted every single person that came to me with a movie idea, a movie play, a movie situation because 
It's like I'm also a stack hustler. So it'd be like this. I got one person, they building a story on, on what they want to do and how they want to do it. But see, I got three writers that I've already, you know, dealt with financially okay. in place. Wow. So this means we already got to understand it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So as these projects come, it's like this. In the music game, you want to be the artist that drop your little record here and there? Or do you want to be a master P? He, he can drop a record. He can put 30 boys out. Like, he can, you know, whatever he wants to do. What you want to you do You understand? Here. So I, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it all together to where it's like all these pieces work together for in this movie world and this music world and this, that, and other. And I've been getting money. Wow. You know, I've been getting a little bit of money. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we getting to it. But, but we're definitely getting to it. Uh, but yeah. no, no. But the thing I, I, I can honestly say, man, is you, you, the tenacity, the way that you, you you speak about things, show that you're you, you aggressive about tw- you know what you want. You know, yeah. I think a lot of times people' biggest mistake is not being aggressive enough. Yeah, because if you if you if you if you say, hey, I want to see like right now, I need to go get a fleet of vans, a couple of vans for some stuff I got going on, and it's like, hmm, I got to buy this house, I got to do this. I got events. This nigga trying to give me a mansion. I got to go check it out today. You know, I got all these things to do in a day's time. And it's just like, that's why I walk around with that little blue booklet now. Yeah, 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 I yeah. I don't want to miss a lick. Miss a lick. I don't want to miss not now. So understand, it's like, it's from, from A to Z, I got to make sure it's all in place. And I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't play no games with the hustle. If you stop and stop, it's at it, it thought one is like, well, what if I don't do it? Or what if, what if they run off with the bread? Or what? If, all that woulda, shoulda, coulda shit, you gonna be broke as hell. That's for real. You feel me? Because it's like sure I was, sit, I was sitting up in the schoolhouse in the second <clears throat> grade. I flunked the second grade because I told the lady, this is a bunch of bullshit y'all got going on up in here. And you know, <laughs> excuse me and yeah. everything, but I knew this at two that for me. I'm going through too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not gonna help me. Yeah, this, y'all don't this understand. is not gonna help y'all me. Y'all don't understand what I'm going through in in this lifetime we living in. And I knew it from then. I was like, boy, you're gonna have to be smarter, quicker, faster, hustle harder, go through the most through this this run to be number number one. That's at something. Crazy. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you already knew it already. Yeah, I knew it. I could feel it, and it's like nowhere that I stop, I feel comfortable. Man. I'm always, I'm in the penitentiary. I'm still paranoid. I'm still feeling like I should be doing more. I wrote a thousand songs, went out, got out of prison, nigga, got people rapping on these songs, and these songs registered to me. And you know what I'm saying? We trapping, hustling, do, doing everything we possibly can to get the most out of the day because I'm not one of them ones. Like, I'm not about to be sitting over there looking crazy, trying to, with my hand out, doing none of that, never. I ain't never had a chance to do none of that. What, you you know say what prison? Mean? What where was it in Texas or L.A.? Nah, prison in, in Texas. It, man, ain't Texas something? I, I know, <laughs> I know, bro. You're right. bro. So how does? I mean, that's why when you came home, you was like, "I'm leaving." How long did you stay? Shit, like after I got out. Yeah. No, how long? How long was you was you locked up? Oh shit, about two and a half, three, but. They didn't snuck all kind of time out of me, man. It was six months here, yeah. five, eight months there, and it was a bunch of you know just petty stuff. And then they got that little two and a half, and then they made me do an eighteen months SISP uh, monitor with, with the monitor on your hip and your ankle. So so Texas. So, so so you telling me I had already did had county time against this? They didn't give me none of that. Turned around and did two and a half, then walked down eighteen months, and it's just like, come on, man, you're doing the most. That's crazy. And the charge it's was Texas from like crazy, eight bro. years before. Like I violated a, pro- a probation like eight, nine years later. And they still hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like hit me hard. And I am go down there and it's like niggas dying in prison because they old and it's hot. Yeah. Like, I watched it. Niggas getting killed in that hell. Like I'm like, come on, bro. Like they, y'all wrong for doing these people like that. And this is, is weird. And let me get up out of all this. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And I'm bigger like, than this. And they hunting you in Texas, in case y'all don't know. Wow. I don't care what nobody say. I tried to get off the plane in Austin, Texas, and drive to Dallas, Texas, to go see my mama that was sick. I can't even make it there. I'm locked up and they had this. And then obviously, then the case is, disappears. And then you know, I never get, I call back up there. Nigga, I don't get a bond. Like, come on, man. That man hunted us on the highway. He running down, looking in cars and shit and seeing who in there. Up, oh, boop, there he goes. Profile. Boop, profile me, lock me up, bogus charge. And I couldn't even get from one stop to the other, bro. Like, I'm watching him hunting, looking for who he looking for. We was the only niggas over there. 
See wow. He hunting. He, he on the highway hunting, going through the car, hunting, looking for you. Up oh, there they go. Uh, whoop, whoop. That's why I don't go there, bro. Because I know when I'm being hunted. Wow. I'm not fucking stalking cattle, my nigga. I'm up out of there. Man. I know when it's not for me. That's crazy. I'm too loud. No, but you, you yeah, you turned loud. up. I'm turned too turned. Yeah, and, and so... And good, you you have self awareness. That's one thing I can say. <laughs> you know, I'm better in a home of gangs and nigga bank robberies and every day is the helicopters. Out. I'm perfectly fine there, but I can't sit and do my damn thing at home because I'm too loud. Damn, you know what? And, and it's true. Like I said, but then you making opportunities out here for people. Nah, it's like this. When you, you, you that hundred thousand to hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollar nigga running around the city doing what you love to do, niggas don't like that. Them folks don't like that. And it's just like it's a bunch of not liking going on. But you come down here where these big boys play they, where, where it's fifty million running around they and they signing checks. I don't care nothing about what them mm -hmm. look they, I'm a little nigga out here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm a big boy back home. So you gotta understand I gotta come play with the big boys. That's real. They ain't worried about nothing what I'm doing. That's real. <laughs> that's real, that's real. man. That nigga that's real. real. Nah, that's real, bro. Uh, so let me ask you this. Um, so it, I know you mentioned Ice Cube, but who are some of the other ones that you've worked with out here, or ran into that was kind of like, okay, that was cool to lock in with him and just did a couple of things? I ain't going to lie. I, I didn't met quite a few people. All, them, all the cast on my movie is amazing people. Uh, DeAndre Bonds. Okay. Uh, Samuel Monroe Jr., okay. which is Jr. from Players Club. Okay. Antoine Tanner from, uh -huh. from, from Sunset Park. Uh, Golden Brooks. Um, and the list goes on. You That's know what dope. I'm saying? That's like, dope. And, 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 and the new upcoming um, actor, his name is Garrett Fox. Uh, we call him G Nice, but he Reggie in the movie. And okay. See, and see, Reggie is a real person. In real life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Reggie's in the movie also. Reggie, like, the real OG homie out here for, for me and my people or whatever. And so, like, I got him in the movie, but I have someone playing him in the movie that's my homie, but they kind of from the same hood over there, San Pedro, yeah. uh, Long Beach area and shit. So it's like I put together that, that real player, but, you know, I'm bringing up people, starting their careers off, and then I got seasoned vets, you know, in, in, in the situation as well. And it's like I'm building it up as I envision it in my in my mind, and I'm dropping out. I paid 111 thousand, and I'm still I ain't done yet. I yeah, 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 yeah. Pay a lot more. Is I the whole scene done just in L.A. or is it outside of L.A.? It's, or? In, it's in L.A. and Vegas. In Vegas, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah. So so how is that commute just between the two? I know it's like three and a half. Yeah, Four hours. It ain't nothing for us because you know, like I said, in Texas, that's Austin to Dallas. Like, that's correct. I run up there and run back. Yeah, especially yeah. for some paper. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I get up there. I get up there. Dallas back. to Houston yeah, or something like that, and back and back. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, it's I'm nothing. nothing. Oh yeah, I had to stop <laughs> him. He was running loose down so much. Nigga. I'm, like, nigga, I'm praying for you. <laughs> nigga, Are you in the street? Nigga, you, <laughs> nigga, nah, that nigga straight in uh, Monroe. Uh, I was going like every uh, two days. I'm like, yeah, man, two three days. I was I said, bro, really? I said, man, I love you, bro. You need to be careful. Yeah. I didn't care as long as he was okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what matters, man. Nah, for real. Because like, I, I, like you said, we being hunted, and yeah. I know that, and I know how he is. Like, he I ain't gonna lie though, too. I want to make this remark because it's like you definitely being hunted in Texas. I mean, you kind of being hunted everywhere if you really just pay attention to everything and you really know how people look at you and the yeah. energies in That's the rooms, real, bro. and you know how the, the judicial system is in that area. You know what your race is and how many people own things in that area. The population and your demographic in that area or wherever you lay your head so you understand like that's how you know when you're being hunted because you got to watch everything where you at man and understand what is really going on around you man and sometimes you can tell as soon as you walk in the building so you can soon tell as soon as you walk in the building, in the building I, yep. I i should not be in yep. here exactly. and whatever i'm coming in here trying to get is probably not, not gonna yep. work out yeah and that's exactly. a horrible way to have to live your life and i don't know if we're the only ones but understand like it's very hard to maneuver to try to be great when you have that going through your emotions in in, in your atmosphere as you trying to get things done as a and young crazy. black individual you can be doing everything right you still feel like that yep yeah that's still come out on the bottom side yep. bro i was trying to get another building and it was me and my id and my credit and everything spotless no bro i don't give you can get a call back you know what I'm saying? Wow. You know what I'm but saying? it's true. It's yeah, real. The, yeah. it, the odds are stacked against you, bro. Yeah. When you when you got this on you. Yeah, but I don't when, let them beat me, though. No, nah, we don't got somebody out. else and went and got that boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Still up in here. Yes. 
Man, hey man, so your top three artists of all time, dead or alive, man. You got to give me the top three because you're a music guy, so you got to give it to me, man. Number one, I mean, any, any genre, oh, any man. genre, dead or alive, who is the number one pick for hmm. sick? Hmm. Artists, dead or alive. Number one. Number one. Oh, my goodness. Top three artists of all time. That's how we hit them. I got to hit them with the NWA group because if it for wasn't sure? for that, that wasn't a door opener. That was a big door opener. I, I That's love goal. Tupac, but I, I can't say Tupac because it's just like, it, as, I, as, I, as I see in the situation, it's just like certain people open the doors for certain things and crazy things happen and they still happen. And so it's like, I want to say Tupac, but I can't say Tupac. But I'm definitely going to say NWA. NWA, who's second? I'm Number two. I'm definitely going to say... Um, So many artists in my mind, but I'm I'm definitely gonna have to say Sade. Sade, that's a dope pick right yeah. there, boy. Yeah. Hey man, that's the girl right there. She just <laughs> shut everybody down. Yeah. Sade shut everything down. Everything gets shut everything down. Shut, everything shut down. Number three. Number three. Uh, of all time. Of all time. Number three, I always be the one messing people up. All right, so number three of all time. Number three, I always get them. Don't it? Every always, show. Always. <laughs> Number three. Because you going to edge everybody out. Big Tuck, Southside the Stop! Wind. Stop! <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. We in that building, baby. He went Let's to the see right there, baby. Man. Bro. So, we went to the South. We yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Mine like worse than this, so you know. Yeah. Mo three, yeah, yeah. Mo three, Mo three would been uh, Boosie. Boosie. But see, understand. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana. You from Louisiana though? So yeah, that's his like, top three. Like them boys did set the yeah, bar. Yeah, savage man. life, yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this, man. Give me something on sheesh, man. What's up with that? How did? What made you guys come up with that? Um, so basically, all these are like um um. Shout out to my boy K Fresco. Uh, my videographer and Donny Cash, uh, you know, the producer, and then my ar uh, artist and music produ production and producer, uh, Austin Martin. So with just these couple guys, like, I can make the song and shoot the video in, like, two days. Wow. And then he'll have it wrapped in, like, three, four days after that. But um, Sheesh is just, like, a record to keep dishing it out because I'm busy right now. You know, this movie stuff got me busy. This, this real estate got me busy, but I still want to give them the heat. So when I'm dropping, I consider almost everything that I drop is a single in some way. Mm -hmm. So here goes something else. Boom, I'm going to drop. And then sometimes I don't even wait. I'll drop seven of them projects, song and video. I'll drop all of them at the same time. Here, take that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on to that until I get this other paper situated in this big boy investment, and then I'll be right back. And then it's like, but I'm not going to stop. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's going on. But my, my movie situation is really like a big passion for me just as well as music. But I see how I'm being able to implement me and a lot of people's music and beats and sounds into these films. And these films are paying out more and they going. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. You can get a couple million on the first blow here. Wow. Just like that. Easy. Easy. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't necessarily say easy. No, no. Once but, you go through all the steps. Yeah, but when you got the people in yeah. place. And you got the people in place and you're like, here. I'll give you a quarter million dollars if you can go walk in there and give me two million. Niggas get the eight. So first, so first of all, I need to uh, <laughs> holler at y'all because I've always been close to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I brought y'all somebody and, I, you know what I'm saying? Let them do the whip dip. And it's like, I will. I will give you a quarter million cash and pay the taxes on it if you can go in there and give me two million. Three. Two and a half or something. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going to make project after project after project. This year I'm going to make 10 movies because you could just, well, what I call them, to be movies. Wow. You see what I'm saying? My partner dropped a movie that came out 2012 or 13 and he's getting 
nice bread right now. How did, how does how did he make that happen? How because did he, the, the the movie situation is all went streaming, just like when the music went from the DVD disc looking yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. now it's like all on apps and everything like that. It's the same thing. The movie platform world is open, and so you know if you catch it at that first wave, and you got your 30, 40, 50 movies in there, and they just keep spinning. And then you got a little bit of bread to put some more promotion back into that. Yeah. And that's getting you more money than the musicians. It's going down. It's really going down. Man. I'm putting that team together now because Man. we can make all the music in the world. But yeah. you're going to need 150, 250,000 just to throw into that play. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I took 150, 250, and throw it in this movie. Movie, yeah. Because it's going to go forever. Man, I like that, man. It's I like it because. Smart deal. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing about it is it keeps going to even wherever you know that movie is being spent the residuals are there some people you know like it ain't it. like it used to be but it is because you never stop getting paid for the stuff you you're spending yeah. exactly i just watched uh 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 harlem nights oh yeah i watched and i it a lot. think i was like my grandma Luvon holiday used to be laid up drinking coffee in the bed watching harlem nights when i was a toddler yeah yeah and, and it's still and, and it's still, still popping. collecting yeah it's still, still popping yeah it's still collecting man. yeah it makes the dollars so yeah. it, as long as you do it and you do it right with the right team and you push it the right way then it's going to continue to pay you how many times have you seen your absolute favorite movie Man, I Too love life. Times. You see what I'm saying? I don't life? know why I watch life like a damn madman. You see what I'm saying? So you just, know how much money you didn't made life through your lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't gave them a whole new life. <laughs> That's for real, man. You don't even think about that way, but you, 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 you really are. Music. Yeah, you really are, yeah. man. And and so, um, just uh, how can people get a hold of you, man? If they trying to you get with sick, man, like you like email me, man. Lil sick, l i l s i c c at gmail. Lil sick, man, hit me direct. What about IG? You ain't no IG or what's up? IG, Lil sick too, but it's, it's it's I got like six IG pages. <laughs> that boy beast because man. it's like every movie I'm dropping another IG, and then it's just like I haven't. I don't like dealing with social media like that. You don't? Just, I don't. It sounds like me. I, I mean, yeah, I, he I, don't. I, I do, but it's like since Instagram came out, I've been somebody on it that knew a lot of people, and it's just like, we ready for the next thing. Is it worthless? It's not worthless, but your demo, like your, the way they got it set up on the Instagram is it's not doing, with, it's not allowing you to shine. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, don't nobody got time to be playing with you to buy yeah. my shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go make a movie on y'all. There it is. How many of y'all got a quarter million to go play with? And you ain't going <laughs> to drop that. You ain't going <laughs> to drop that music. I want to be in a movie. You know, <laughs> I need to be in a movie. You know, I, get you, I, I can get you in a movie uh, <laughs> as soon as possible. Like, oh, I got some. Really? I, I got I Wednesday, the man. Wednesday, through fr- Wednesday through Friday. I'm going to be shooting, and then I'll be setting the schedule for the next week, and then I'll be done with Street Team, the movie I wrote for them. See that? Yeah. This guy here is serious, man. Sorry, I love man. your energy, man. Check this out, though. Man, so, I love your hustle, bro. I, I'm watching on the um, like Crackle and Tubies and all this stuff. I'm li- okay. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at some of the movies and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's decent. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, how can I make a better than decent situation quicker and faster than all of these guys so I can drop many, you know, more of them? And uh, you know, just kind of put it in, put it in a situation to where I have a nonstop machine that's dropping movies, but they also better than what y'all doing. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, yeah. So I'm putting that together, but I'm teaching myself, learning. And shout out to Michael Sterling for all he's taught me. You know, everything he's done. And shout out to Domino. You know, one of my DPs, and uh, he's also a part of the world cl- class wrecking, wrecking crew. crew. Yeah, that's the homie, homie. Yeah, yeah. So he's one of my DPs uh, filming on this this new movie, Street Team, and he filmed about half of the movie packs. That's wow. Like, yeah. Some you said Crackle and all those guys got apps. Are you it looking to get you an, a, like an app to, or a server to where you can dis- distribute the mu- movies? I would. I would. I'm gonna get y'all some sauce on what I got going on in the movie world. So uh, one of my homeboys that I'm managing, uh, Marquise Moore, shout out to him. On, he was on Snowfall, mm-hmm, BMF, mm-hmm. et cetera. So he, he's now a plug for a company called Vire. Okay. And Vire is like another 2B, you know, et cetera, uh, platform or whatever. But he also has it to where he can get you on other platforms. Okay. So each one of these platforms is a check in its own. Man. So if you get five or six of them with him and I take it to my other partner and he get it on four or five more you on eight to ten platforms, you can get paid ten times for that month. For that wow. one movie. For that one movie. You see what I'm saying? Man. You can't do that for a song. Can't do that. 
Man, I got I got I got some stuff to talk to you. We're gonna talk about it offline, yeah, but yeah, it, that's dope, to. bro. To, to yeah. be able to have, but that. I have the people that can get that the can movie do that. on there. Their movies that, is already on there, bro. That's the part right that's there. That's the part. That's you the part. You gotta have that plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, I got a guy that I'm, I'm definitely. Uh, um, I, I show you. It's it's dope, man. That you got that plug. That yeah. you understand the algorithm. Well, I'm not playing with it. But no. See, like the people around these people been playing, mm -hmm. and they they really got the sauce. So it's like I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all need, to, and y'all can have a percentage of it too to go get it and get it up in there, and let's get some spins. You see what I'm saying? So you saying it's my numbers? So every time you put numbers in there, people want to do it. Yeah. Most people ain't gonna want to put numbers to it, like so other people can eat off them either. Exactly. See, they people selfish. be tripping about that. Exactly. Yeah, it's like they like be that. tripping like that with the labels, and they be tripping. Look, bro. This is the business exactly. deal. You see what I'm saying? You think I'm going to stop a cool, a easy two million? You think I'm going to stop that because I don't want you to eat and exactly. you the nigga got to go get it situated? Man, sign your name on the paperwork and get so what you want, man. I got a little few dollars on like me, it. too, to help yeah, hurry yeah, up and yeah, get it done. Get it. Yeah. Some people don't think like they that, They don't bro. think like that, and they don't move like I and move either. What, and that, but that's why you being blessed. That's why you growing, bro. Yeah, you gotta, like, and you're going to bring a lot eat, of people bro. with you, bro, because yeah. you're letting them eat. Yeah, Most people eat, don't. Bro. They, they, they compete with the team. They don't eat with the team. That's exactly what they compete. That's the right word. So when you doing it like you doing it and letting everybody eat and eating with them, come on, man. It's going down, man. That's teamwork make the dream work. One of the big homies out of the city named Jacob Pond, just told me that a couple weeks ago. He's like, bro, he's like, we we bringing this. Like, they gave me a whole red camera. They gave you a red camera. The first one, the one I really wanted, because I like the old Lethal Weapon movies. Yeah. I like the grain and stuff in the in the. In yeah. The, in, you know what I'm saying? So they gave me the camera that I really really wanted because this is the one that I really want to work and shoot. And it was already on. rigged up, but you had to rig it up. They had a, they had a lot of stuff to it, but it ain't six seven thousand dollars. I yeah. have everything you need for yeah. it or whatever. But it's just like really means something to me because this is what I want to use because I'm looking for a certain look. The new cameras is making it like real sharp, real clear. And that gives you that look. I think that look is for TV shows. Yeah. That yeah, old Panavision yeah. the, with yeah, the, the, the grain and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Them type of, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that the cinematic point. flow. I'm trying to John Singleton the situation. Damn it, boy. Yeah, but so I got to find the right every, name. Yeah. Yeah. I got to find the right situation. What is for me? And then, okay, now let's get the best of this class and put that together and make it work. You know what I mean? And I used to like watching the end of movies just to see John Singleton name. You feel me? Like just to see his name, like yeah. he had a part of a yeah. lot of shit, yeah, a nah. lot of shit. Yeah, he, but, he 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 was like really the the stamp in the culture when it comes to this film stuff. Like he he was the one making the real good movies. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was, and he, you could tell he put his time and his heart and his energy into and those he had a movies. Finger in every movie, shows, shows too. Yeah, yeah, shows too. He did Snowfall. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, man. Like the, the thing that you you're doing is you you're talking about the research and the. The, the, the education process of understanding what everybody's done, that helps to understand where you're going with what you're going with. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what Napoleon Hill did when, on, on, when he was uh, thinking Grow Rich, where he went and talked to everybody that was doing something mm -hmm. and then created his own wave of what he was going to do, you know, pretty much in the midst of it. So when you educate yourself about what everybody is doing around you, mm -hmm. God's going to critique it in a way to where you come up with your own way of doing it, mm -hmm. which is probably going to be better than what everybody's doing because you got a younger mind. I'm being real. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. So I listen to the young Young, young, the guys younger than me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sponging off of them because yeah. I know already that's where the new vision's gonna yeah, come through. That's where it's so I'm, I'm like, okay, what he say? Okay, I do it because I know that he gonna be a little bit more tapped into how we moving in the younger days, and usually they're quicker with it. Yeah, y'all quicker, quicker with it, Way and then quicker. the ones under you, yeah. they quicker with it. Quicker. So you got to try to. Tone into them, yeah, yeah, you, home into them. Yeah, you keep, you keep, you keep every generation. You get the generation from under you and groom. And it's going down. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Hey, man, we love you, bro. Sick, man. Yeah. Thank you for letting us come over here, man. Yeah, let's look, man, man. Hey, man, we, it won't be the last time. When I come to L.A., I'm like, yeah, man, I can go me. see Sick, man. It's yeah. going down, nigga. Yeah, and if know. I'm somewhere else, I'm calling his, pull up, man. I yeah, got to see you, man. Up, man. So thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, brother. Absolutely. And hey, man. Boss talk with the bosses talk. It's official. We did this, man. Yeah, we did it. it man. Did it. Packs coming soon. You know Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a bosses talk. Boss.